Hello, today I'll be showing you a UDK tutorial on how to make a soft platform using Kismet. Now, a soft platform is the phrase we are going to use to explain being able to land on top of a platform but jump through it and land on top of it. Now, a lot of games use this. Super Smash Bros. actually allows the player to double tap down to fade through platforms as well. Not all games do this. But games tend to use soft platforming in most platforming games. So it's important that we understand how to do this. And it's fairly easy using Kismet and UDK. So in UDK here we have two platforms that I'm going to use. You can't tell but I'm jumping underneath these platforms. So I'm going to move these up a little bit. Now these are models that have collision applied to them. By default, that is. So this platform on the right, we're going to make our soft platform. Here we're going to turn off the model's collision so it doesn't collide with anything. So let's test it from here. We should be able to jump right through it. And we are. And there is no landing on top. So that's predicted. And we can move on with the next step. Now what we actually have to do is mimic the way collision works for our platforms. The way we're going to do that is customize our brush and actually add a blocking volume but not just any blocking volume. We need a dynamic blocking volume. A regular blocking volume cannot be toggled. And here I'm just going to use the same volume and we're going to add a trigger volume as well. Now what we're going to do here is allow the ability for the game to understand that the player is on top of the collision that we need to be able to encounter. So we want to be able to jump through the bottom so the trigger volume has to be just far enough away otherwise we're going to run into the collision. So finally in Kismet we're going to make a new event using the trigger volume. Of course this is a touch event because we want to know when the player is touching that volume. We also want to toggle the blocking volume. So when you touch the volume we're going to turn it on. When we're not touching the volume we're going to turn the blocking volume off. So here I'm making the object, the actual blocking volume, so that we know what target is being toggled. And let's test it from there. Now I already know this isn't going to work. As you can see, it's blocking us already. Hooray, we're on top, and that's a snug fit, but we're going to see why this isn't working. Now, by default, a blocking volume in its properties is enabled. So we need to turn this off. We need it to start by being um, essentially not blocking the player. So now we jump through, and we can land on top safely. Awesome, right? Well, not exactly. When we try again, it doesn't work. So the other issue we're having is in Kismet. So here, it's the trigger volume event. Let me uh, take this up a little bit. As you can see, this is at one. We're going to take it down to zero 
so that it can happen an infinite amount of times. Now let's try it. Works on top. And we can jump through. And let's try this again. All right, so it seems to be working consistently. We can do it over and over and over. But what about fading through? If we want the player to fade through, let's say by pressing the down key. There's nothing else that we're using the down key for, so we might as well. So we're going to take the input key pressed command and make it so that when you tap S, since our controls are WSAD, A being left, D being right, S being down, type S in here. It automatically shifts for us. We're going to make it so that when you tap the key, the volume turns off. So we'll have it toggle off. Notice that by default, the S key was already at the trigger count of infinity or zero. And here we can see that S works. How about when we're holding it when we're in the air? That works too. So this is UDK version July 2012, uh, soft platforming Kismet tutorial. Thank you for watching.